I'm the Hermit Mage, Gerald. Thanks for joining me today for tarot writing prompts. I am using two cards that uh, were picked during a live from Maui on February 16th, 2021. It was Jonathan Daly's interview with Pamela Chin, uh, who is the creator of the Witchling Academy Tarot. And during the live, I had asked if they would pick a couple of cards uh, for me to use for tarot writing prompts. And they picked uh, the Three of Wands and the Emperor. I am using the Textured Tarot created by Lisa McLowan in 2018. I do not have a copy of the uh, Witchling Academy Tarot, so I thought I would use uh, these. Now, interesting for me, Pamela, uh, when she, when Jonathan explained why I was asking, said, oh, you know, and I actually see Waking the Dragon. So my prompts are Waking the Sleeping Dragon, which is what Pamela had said, and the Three of Wands and the Emperor. So here are the two cards, the Three of Wands and the Emperor. So <clears throat> I will start. He was in his usual daydream, the one when he goes on his adventure about waking the sleeping dragon. He's had this daydream since he was uh, young, sitting on his mother's lap while she advised her husband about the matters of state as well as household affairs. Rush forward 30 years, and once again he was enjoying his daydream. He had been sitting on his throne since early in the morning, discussing the safety of his kingdom, and being briefed on the latest scientific advancements. He liked his throne, usually, but today he fidgeted, so much the Minister of Horticulture noticed, and she gave him an odd look. He had been given a clear globe, said to contain the breath of the dragon. He leaned in closely to see if there really was dragon breath in the sphere. He wasn't sure there was, but he hoped. Behind him, the wall was covered with drawings of n the new city layout. He was a good emperor, beloved for his vision and ability to connect the right people together. The groundbreaking was next week and there were a few details left to figure out. He needed to move around and get the blood going in his buttocks again. When he heard the door swing open and little feet rushing toward him, Daddy, his daughter shouted and ran towards him. He uh, passed off the sphere and bent down to hug his daughter. Chen, my dear, how are you? She rushed past him and jumped on to the throne. I'm great. Do you want to see the drawing I made for the dream I had? <clears throat> she didn't wait for him to answer as she rummaged through her backpack. You had a dream last night, he asked. What was it about? She held out her drawing. He took um, it and looked at her and cleared his throat. It was a game they played, and it was time for her to let him sit down and she could sit with him. Once settled, the emperor looked at the drawing. There was a triangle drawn in black, and inside were three ships sailing away. Tell me about the drawing, Chen. Don't you see it, Daddy? These are my ships going on the adventure. That's why the wands point up. They point north, where I will wake up the magical dragon from her long sleep. Is it safe to wake a dragon? The emperor asked, surprised she had this dream. Of course it is, if we are quiet and wake her up slowly like you do for me. He did know. She was crabby if she was sh shaken awake. 
what will happen um, when you wake the dragon? She will give me a little fire from her snout to bring home to you. Thanks very much for listening. Bye.